Record. All right. Now give me an off speed drop. Beautiful. There you go. Now coming back to a hard drop. So you just went two on the inside corner. Now let's go two on the outside corner. Hard drop. Oops. Okay. You feel your shoulder involved a little bit? Yeah. Okay. So we'll come back to that pitch. Think fast. Look low. Spin quick through the fingers. Better. It's an adjustment. Now, what did you forget to do on that pitch? Breathe. Uh-huh. I need to see that breath. Hard drop again. Out. Ever since I said I was recording, you're yanking that shoulder a little bit, girlfriend. Don't worry about me recording. Switch it up. Back to off speed. Good switch up, good pitch. Ooh, that's pretty, girl. All right, next, you put curve or rise in the most confident. Rise. Rise ball, let's go rise ball inside. That's a great, girl, you throw that, that better be a called strike. I know some umps are still a little tight on that high zone, but that right there is a low rise ball for a great strike. Beautiful. Okay, that's where I want us confident to be able to hit that spot. And hopefully your catcher can frame that. I mean, that should be a strike. Dad's shoulders, anything between dad's knees and dad's shoulders right now sitting on that bucket should be within the strike zone for most of your batters. Let's go again. Same pitch. Pretty girlfriend. It's okay. It's not bad. That's a good 0 2 rise ball. Okay, back to inside. Feel that thumb. Yeah, keep that elbow tight. Okay. Ask dad if that went up and then fell. Just yep. a little bit. So that's when you spin it and you let your hand leave your body too soon. Feel that hand finish tighter into your rib cage. Okay. And that's going to help okay. that pitch continue to elevate. One more. You okay? The bug's getting you? Yeah. That's okay. Shake it off. Throw an off-speed drop inside, then we'll come back to that rise ball. Big deep breath. Pretty off-speed. Good. Now coming back in with that rise ball high and inside. Looking at dad's elbow, finishing at his ear. Pause. Look at your follow through. What'd you do? Went to this shoulder, not this. Yes. And you're getting away from the body. Stay tight. Remember, you want to come all the way. You want to go like a little bit past that one on your shirt. Okay. Spin like a okay. rise, snap like a high curve in your body. Okay. You got it right here. There you go. I'll take that. Now question, that's a great O2 in my eyes as a college pitcher. At your level, is that, are you getting girls swinging at that pitch or is it still a little too high or can your catcher even get up and get that in time? They swing at it. Okay, they'll swing yeah, at a some, pitch some, some of them do, the aggressive ones will at least. Okay, I'm just asking. I didn't know how discipline or how, I mean, I'd swing at that pitch, girl. I yeah, can't hold on most... that pitch. Most of them will swing it like the first time through, but not all of them, not as many swing like the second time through the lineup and things. Okay. So we'll work on bringing it down with that curve ball. Let's go curve ball, but let's start at a curve three and work yourself down the ladder. Okay. okay. Now you tell me, did you keep your arm tight to the body or let it fly away? Uh, fly away? Yep. So when you finished, you brought that hand. I don't know if you can see me, but I, you brought your hand in front. Yeah, just like, you don't have to flip the camera, but you came here, this much space. Mm -hmm. I need you here, here. Okay. Here. Okay. You got it right here. 
Stay tight. There you go, better. Had a last minute little jump to it. Okay, so now let's come down the ladder. So that was a curve three. Now I need something in between a three and a four. Kind of like belt level. Okay, there is more of a three. Good, now let's come down the ladder. Even more, we'll go to a four and then we'll go to more of a drop curve. There you go. Okay, now drop curve, coming down with that thumb towards dad's inside heel, outside foot, inside of his heel. That's okay. <sighs> That's okay. You feel your shoulder. Mm -hmm. You're trying yeah. to spin with the shoulder. Trust the fingers. Trust the fingers right here. Spin down, spinning down to your inner thigh. I'm gonna get you on that shoulder, girl. You owe me three dry pitches with your eyes closed. Throwing a drop curve, feeling the spin. Ooh, trust yourself. You won't fall. If you stick yeah. it, well, you might with that ball there. Good. Now, fin right now, I can't really see your finish. It looks like you're finishing more belly button height. Come down towards the thigh. There, one more, just like that. Oh, oh my. One oh, more. Oh. Eyes closed, feel the fingers. Good. Now you get to throw one pitch with your eyes closed. Okay. Trust it. Trust yourself. Feel your body. That's not bad. Sorry, no. Dad. That was not bad with your eyes closed, girl. We just had more, a little bit more drop than curve. Now you can open your eyes. See it, feel it, believe it, trust it. That's okay. I still like the break of it. Don't throw your head up like that. It's fine. Switch it up. Off speed or change up. What do you want on the four? Change up. Change up. Change up four. Not a bad pitch. Is that what they were doing when you said they were dropping too soon? Yeah, they'd like ask hit dad, the plate. Ask dad if he thinks your spin rotation is getting a little tighter on your change up. Is it? So what does that mean? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah, you might have mm -hmm. to look a little bit higher on your change ups because the tighter spin rotation, the faster it's going to drop. So if you're mm -hmm. normally looking at like the knees, maybe you got to look. And this is a maybe thing. Like you're going to have to play with it. But maybe at least for now, we might have to look more belly button height to get that pitch to drop at the knees for a cold strike. Play with that. Throw that pitch one more okay. time and bring your eyes up higher than normal. Oh, that was a shoulder on that one. Yeah. Oh, no, Dad. Okay. Big deep breath. Throw a fastball down the middle. Sorry. Oh, Sorry. no. Ouch. Okay. Now with that same energy from the ground up, let me see that change up with your eyes a little bit higher. Are you 13 yet? Nope. Still 12. When do you turn 13? January. Jeez. Okay. January what? 26. And are you playing 12U right now or 14U this fall? 12U. 12U, you have to move up to 14U in the spring? No, I'm not. Am I? Am I? No, I'm not. You're not moving not. up in the spring? Yeah, I'm not. Oh, I didn't know you could with your, uh, I guess you just hit the cutoff. If you're after January yeah. 1st, I guess it's the, that's the cutoff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Oh, yeah, but I am doing a fall ball thing for uh yeah, for middle school. And it's it's uh 14 you though, so it's 43 feet. 43 feet. Um yeah. whenever you're done with your when does that start? Uh two weeks. 
Yeah, two weeks. In two weeks. Um, I would start practicing. And I know you've done it before because you pitched at 43. Maybe one bullpen a week, like this week. Okay. If you can get in another one at 43. Probably not, actually, maybe not this week. At the beginning of the weeks, do 43. And then if you have a tournament on the weekends, do 40 and then vice versa. Um, okay. But then the minute, yeah, because you just want to start training for that more on your spin pitches because the breaks of them are going to be a little different and you're going to want to yeah. hone in on those a little bit more. Okay. Do the mosquitoes. Back Sorry. to Tanya. You're okay. Girl, I'm the queen of mosquitoes. I get it. Change four. There you go. Great pitch. All right, back to that drop curve. Feel it in the fingers. Feel it in the fingers. Back to it. I want you to feel what you're doing on your rise. Go rise too. You're really sticking that front side really hard and staying connected a little bit more. Rise two. Even if it fell, do you see how you're staying connected knee to knee mm -hmm. a little bit more? You're sticking that landing? Yeah. That was the finger thing. Now stick that landing on this drop curve and you'll get this pitch. Trust the fingers, stick the front. There we go. It was off the plate, but that's what I'm looking for. Can you feel the difference of having that strong landing? You're able to get that pitch to rip off the fingers better? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Change up one. Good pitch. Good adjustment. Not bad. Not bad. Now, did you look higher like you did on the change up four a few pitches ago? Uh, no. No. Okay. So let's bring our eyes back up again. This might just cut girl from 43 feet. You might have to look even higher. And it's not a bad thing that your my changeups would fall off the table too. They were either too high or too low. So I had to really be dramatic with my eyes to find that zone. And if I wasn't, then I wasn't going to be able to hit that target. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to have to kind of play because you're getting stronger and three feet back. These might drop a little too soon too. Bring them up right here. Yeah. Change one. It's okay. Relax that There's shoulder. There's one right behind you. All right, drop ball one. Think fast, look low, spin quick. Feel it in the fingers. Okay, good speed on that. Okay, off speed one. Off speed is killing it today. Like, you got to be throwing this pitch more on the weekends. Oh, my goodness. Okay. okay, if change up was the last of your confidence, this should be, I mean, I would put your off speed today just watching you. Again, confidence is in your head, but – watching you and if i had to call your pitches in a game after this bullpen i would have rise and off speed as your top two okay like mm -hmm. and that's just like your off speed's moving right now too it's not just yeah. staying up it's moving down a little bit it's a great pitch okay well, let's come back to that curveball just normal curve four There you go. There's the drop that I'm trying to get on that pitch. I just had to tell you to look up a little bit more. Now, Dad, ask Dad if those are breaking as much as normal. I feel like they could come outside a little bit more. No. Yeah. You're Watch me. Come look at the camera. This right shoulder, tell me when you can see me. I can see you. Okay. This right shoulder on curves I'm seeing it get to here. So see how the height of my shoulders are different? Mm -hmm. When my shoulder gets up, do you see how there's a disconnect from the side of me and my elbow? Yeah. You're coming here. When I do that and I stand up, look at my hand. The ball is coming more forward than being able to be released here. 
So when you keep it okay. tight to your body, you can really get those fingers in that wrist working more. But when we get that shoulder lifted, it turns that hand. So now you just have that much room with the fingers instead of that much room with the wrist. Does that make sense? Okay. Yes, that makes sense. Okay. So let's work on that just a little bit more. Let that elbow fall to the bottom, rip the fingers and wrist. Okay. Just normal curve. We don't have to work on height. Curve four. Better. That's jumping more. Now, again, I'm going to get you on you trying to overemphasize it right now. If you're going to overemphasize anything, overemphasize your front side, overemphasize your hips, not the shoulder. Your fingers are quick enough. You got it right here. There. I'll, I'll take it. It didn't move as much. Your thumb got behind it, but I like how quick you were with your body. Pretty. Okay. Now, if you have a dot on the back of your hand, feel that dot facing the ground when you release it. Okay. You owe me, give me one off speed and one more curve, then we're gonna chit chat. I'm gonna come up with a drill for you to do with this curveball. Good patch. <laughs> That's so nasty. Curveball, you got it right here. Breathe. It's okay. Awesome. Last pitch. What do you want to end on? You want to come back with that curve? Last one, do or die right yeah. here. Curveball. You got it right here. Stay tight. Or drop ball. <laughs> still a good pitch pretty pitch so i want dad to come watch me on these two um to kind of show you what i'm seeing again with your curve and you can tell me if i'm wrong okay but when they're not working the best i believe that you go and you try to force the movement you're trying to force it because what I'm seeing with your body, okay, Anna, can you see me? <laughs> so what I'm seeing with your body is we're, we're trying to get it to curve and that's when they're not moving your best. Your sharpest ones are when you're staying through, you're here and you're ripping it. But I was telling her dad, the connection was when she gets that shoulder and it lifts, it disconnects that elbow right here to where our hand gets behind it. And all she has to do is here. So it could spin, but it's not going to break. Whereas if that elbow is connected, now we have that range with the fingers, the wrist, and the forearm to get that pitch, to get that movement. So what you can do, Anna, is go from like heaviest ball to lightest ball. And you can hold like a broomstick in front of you on the ground. Okay, so let me see if I can somewhat demonstrate this. I don't have a broomstick here. Okay, but you have a broomstick with your glove side. Okay, and then you're getting in a K position and you got to keep that stable because if you move it and you try to fly that whole broomstick, it's going to kind of connect where you release it. You keep it here and you're doing heavy weighted spins just coming through and it's keeping this side in control more. Right now, it's not your glove side flying out. It's your right shoulder trying to help that pitch break more. But if you can try to stabilize the left so you can't move the right, it's going to help. But I'll go from heaviest ball to lightest ball, kind of from like a like a KT position. If you need to flop a little bit, you can. But are you following of what that drill should look like? I think I've done a drill similar to it before. I think you I have, have like to. a PVC pipe and you like. You're trying to go like in the PVC pipe. Yeah. Yeah. So you can use that too. Okay, but I do want you to do, I want to see a video of you doing those, but I want you to warm up next time you throw your curveballs, warm up with that. Okay, if you can happen to bring okay. that PVC pipe with you, because when your curve is on, it is on and it is spinning and it is moving like crazy. But when you, when it's not, you resort into trying to make it spin and not trust the spin. 
And that just comes with pitching maturity and trust. And the more we throw it and adjusting, and you're just getting so much stronger to where you're using upper body, where I need you to focus on just lower body, fingers, wrist, forearm, fingers, wrist, forearm, because your shoulder and everything falls into place. It falls in the right place. But when you try to, we tighten things up and we get pushy on it out of our fingers. Make sense? Yeah. All right, girlfriend. Well, I'm very proud of you. Okay. That Ospi drop girl, you better be throwing that more in a game. Woo. It is pretty. That mixed in with your change up, girlfriend. You get that rise ball going. People are not going to know what the heck to do with you when they're up to bat. All right, girlfriend. Well, I'll see you soon. Okay. I wish you luck this weekend. Okay. Do you play? Thank you. Do you not play? Uh, we don't. Wait, do we play? We don't play. I could tell by your face. You were like, thank you. Good luck hanging out. <laughs> I'll see you soon, though. Okay. Bye. Bye.